Uh-oh, more bad news for Donald Trump. It is Sunday, October 27th, and there is a brand new poll, national poll from ABC and Ipsos, and it shows Kamala Harris leading Donald Trump 51 to 47. Now, for all of you Trump cultists out there for whom math is kind of hard, that means Kamala Harris is winning by four points. Now, I know if you've been seeing some of the propaganda, especially on TikTok and YouTube, you might be led to believe uh, that Donald Trump is winning this election, that he has all the momentum. Well, it just isn't true. In fact, a lot of these polls that you might be seeing are actually bought and paid for by Donald Trump and his affiliated organizations for the express purpose of making you think that he's doing better than he is. And why? Because when his fat orange ass loses, he wants to be able to claim once again that the election was stolen. And he's gonna point to all those phony polls that he paid for as evidence that the election was stolen. Don't buy it. And here's something important from this poll. You might have heard that Donald Trump is doing so much better with black men and Latino men in this election than in past elections. Well, it's just not so. First of all, ask yourself, does that make any sense? Why would this overt racist be doing better with these groups? Doesn't really make any sense on its face, does it? Well, it doesn't and it shouldn't and that's not what's happening. According to ABC Ipsos poll, um, Kamala Harris is actually doing better with both of these groups than Joe Biden did in 2020 when he beat Donald, Donald Trump. In 2020, Biden led Trump, um, was beating Trump by 60 points among black men. This time, Kamala Harris beating Trump by 74 points. Among Latino men, in 2020, Biden was leading this group by 23 points. Now, Kamala Harris leading Trump by 27 points, right? Point is, we're being gaslit about this election. It's not nearly as close as we are being told, and Donald Trump is not doing nearly as well as we're being told. 